Hello everyone, back with another live commentary. Uh, we're on Leech Chest, we're going to hop into a 5 plus 0 game, and we're going to see what we get. So it looks like we're getting an English opening, I'm going to play the Dutch defense. I'll try and explain moves, but because it is a 5 plus 0, I'm going to uh, not be explaining as quickly. So he thing kettos, which means I won't be thing kettoing over here. It looks like he's going for just a, a standard attack. This is all theory in the Dutch defense out of the English opening. I think my next move is going to be probably d6 and just look to break here. Actually, potentially I can I can think about this knight move to e4. So if the trades trades, it puts Tempi on this piece. And it opens the file for my rook. Oh, that would be really good. So here, 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 here. Something would look like that. It's good he's spending some time here. Uh, I find that playing these 5 plus 0 games, it's all about time management. Like right now, he's wasting a ton of time. We could be blitzing moves. Maybe he's. He just doesn't know the position, but I'm really familiar with this position because I play this line all the time. <sighs> Honestly, you might be thinking about doing this. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll stick with my plan. Pre-move captures. Interesting, I really thought he'd capture it. Well, I'm not gonna capture his knight. Although it does double with these pawns, but it opens a, a file for his rook, which I'm not really thrilled about. Yeah, let's just go ahead and push the pawns, try and open up these bishops, and then let my queen slide in. Put a lot of pressure on the king. This is losing a pawn. Shoot, I didn't think that through all the way. But it's opening up this nice diagonal, so. Yeah, that just wins a pawn. Then after this move. Oh, I was gonna say I'm threatening to win that piece. I'm thinking right here. Closing the gap here, opening up an attack on this piece, double attack, indirectly defending this piece. Can't capture it because then you lose the knight. Well, kind of. Plus, I get these de bishops just staring, which is kind of nice. All my pieces are flowing. Hmm. It doesn't seem quite clear though. He's up, I, that pawn sacrificed it for all this activity. I hope it's worth it. Oh, the knight's trapped. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, it doesn't work because of captures, captures. Well, that was really cool. I kind of stumbled into a, a nice knight trap there. We'll have to go back and look at that at the end of the game. Threatening to take my pawn. Oh, what? My game just glitched. We can just play solid here. I'm not too worried about losing that pawn. Let's just develop. I mean, he can have the pawn if he. Ultimate. I mean, if he wants to queen trade, even better. Yeah, I didn't think he would. Forcing a trade. Can't move because the queen's undefended. Oh, interesting. I think we'll just come to the corner, so now I'm threatening to take the queen. Oh. This guy's got some tricky moves. 
Okay, let's make this queen move. Giving up this pawn, but I, I just want to, yeah, if the queen moves and then I can force the bishop off this diagonal, I'll, I'll win the pawn. Can't just take the piece because I win the queen. And then, so if it, let's say he moves the queen here, and then I play this move, yeah, captures, captures, captures. I think we're fine. Captures, captures. Okay, I don't understand this move. Am I missing something? If I take here, you can take my knight. But then it comes with a queen trade, which is what I want. I'm up a whole piece. Oh, I was wrong. It does not come with a queen trade. Sorry, I was thinking of something completely different there. I wasn't very clear in my objectives. Okay. Starting to capture this. No, no, what am I talking about? Captures, 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 captures. It just blunders a rook. Yeah, he's going to triple up. Interesting. Well, I'd like to get my knight there. Here, here, here. Oh, excuse me. I mean, it's actually not possible for him to get enough pressure on this. Just winning the pawn. Better watch out for back rank tricks. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do once I just move down here. There's no checks. Defending everything on the 8th rank. Yeah, kind of a crazy move. Takes, 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 takes. Does not work. Kind of like where my knight is right now. All right, I'll put up a little breathing room. We could do something like this. Plus, I don't want to get back rank mated in any way. Yeah. Plus, I'm up, up a lot of time on him. Okay, a good move. play safe yeah put the pressure on him he doesn't have time just gotta be so so careful not to get mated yeah I was thinking that might come I think this is a good move. I didn't calculate. I'm, I, I don't have the time to calculate it. He doesn't have time to calculate it. Ah, oh, yeah. See, it's not a good move. Darn. Seven seconds. He's out of time. Should be an easy GG. Let's just take my time with what I want to do here. Yeah, just playing solid, not giving him anything. Okay, we're gonna move back and forth a little bit. We can get cheeky here. I was hoping for like a little pre-move or something. Hmm. Interesting, he doesn't really have much. Check. Wasn't expecting it. Caused a lot of problems. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do. And he just times out. Yeah, so he wants a rematch. We're actually going to decline because I want to take a look at this in the middle.
hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm recording this really late at night. Just couldn't sleep, and I wanted to uh, to bring you guys content. So that's why I'm in a very relaxed mood. If you guys don't like it, that's okay. I won't shoot. I won't make these types of videos. But so yeah, this is the beauty of Blitz. So I'll, everything here was really standard. Uh, I'd seen this done before when I'd studied this opening on YouTube and just like in playing it in my games and it looks like you're blundering a pawn here which you are like you are it's a pawn sacrifice but it gives black a lot of options um in this case white gets greedy and captures the the pawn that's hanging right but yeah this is really nice night night trap because and I saw it I probably didn't explain it very well but this move is a good move for two reasons. The first reason I was thinking of this move is it just closes this file down, so the queen can't infiltrate my position. You know, I have her come sit here, I guess, but like, I it, it frees my queen up to move uh, if I want to go to any spots like that. It also puts a double attack on this piece. What I didn't think about is this pawn is controlling these squares. This bishop is controlling this square. This pawn is controlling this square queen and rook and the pawn and queen are also defending so this knight actually has one square that he could go to and it's got his own pawns in the way so it was actually a knight trap and white played well i mean as he rated 1679 so he tried to hold on to it but i don't like this move because it gives away it gives me another another piece yeah so now i'm up I mean, you can maybe argue it's good because it takes my really strong dark square bishop off the board and leaves me with two minor pieces that haven't even moved yet, whereas his are, his is sitting in a nice position. But then he just wasn't able to to hold on to it. Yeah, this is silly. Giving up this light squared bishop for my light squared bishop was nice because this piece was not nearly as good as this piece. And then, yeah, blockading the pawn so he didn't get it pushed. Because if he can get this pawn to queen, he's got a lot of pressure on me. Doubling up. Yeah, and then this was a nice move. It avoids all back rank th uh, threats. Also just solidifies the knight. And it forces the pawn to come out. This was a good move by him, putting a lot of pressure on me. I didn't, I was, I remember I was up on time on him, so just played safe. My thoughts were moving behind the knight. There's no way he's going to capture me. Oh, yeah, so this is a move I, you know, in a normal game, I would have calculated this out before making a move like this. But it forks these two pieces. It opens a discovered attack on my queen. And honestly, he got lucky that this just didn't work. Um, I got a little greedy. Uh, what I was, what I, what I missed was um that this came with check because i think originally what i had initially thought was after queen captures then i would capture with check and then he would have to move and then i could capture the queen uh but he captured with check and so that meant i had to capture back and that blundered the, the knight the rook captures the knight and so i just saw it and i knew he had no time and so i didn't even calculate it i just played it because it felt natural probably the best move here let's see best move for black oh this to pin the piece that is really good and then yeah you're just out huh that's interesting you know so that's upper level play i didn't even see that move i was I knew I couldn't move here. I knew I could, and the only other one I looked at. Sorry, let's get the computer off. I knew I couldn't move here because um, captures, 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 right? So I knew that was a viable square. I thought this might have been a square, but I missed that capturing queen comes with a tempi on me. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the analysis. Uh, I tried to explain my thoughts as best as I could. Um, as you can see, I've really been growing. Uh, when I first started this channel, I was at 1400s, mid 1400s, and two to three months in, I'm already at 1700. I was at 1750. I've dropped a little bit. Sometimes I play when I'm not as focused, and it leads to worse games. So, 
I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one.